Islanders, welcome back to the channel. You've guessed it, we're here for another free diving mission. I'm at the seal colony. We've got about one hour till sunset, which is a truly excellent time for getting in the water. The seals are normally out feeding, it's normally quite a lot knocking around. We're still in spring, early spring at that. Temperatures are not great yet. The sea temperature is only like 12 degrees Celsius, so it's still fairly cold. You can see a seal out there now, actually. I flew up the drone earlier on and there's loads of seals around here whether they come close to me or not i don't know sometimes they do sometimes they don't it was about this time and i actually just before sunset where the seals came up and nibbled one of my fins on a free dive they better not do that today because these carbon fiber beasts cost a small fortune the sea conditions not great actually they've deteriorated a little bit since i've got here but what i'm going to do is jump in here have a swim around and then I'm gonna cut across to Port Aaron Bay with what sunlight I've got left. You probably know this already, but a rare 14 foot, and this is massive, small tooth sand tiger shark, washed up in County Wexford. Last week, I believe it was. Unlike the one in Leap, uh, nobody got to this one and cut its head off, so scientists were able to take measurements. Uh, and it's definitely confirmed, uh, small tooth sand tiger shark. So that first one wasn't a coincidence. It might be a coincidence that the two have washed up dead. That could be down to pollutants. Unknown reasons really at this time, I'll have to wait for that. Uh, but it does prove that they're in our waters. Up until now, the closest they got to us was the Bay of Biscay. But now they are confirmed in our waters. Uh, speaking of the Bay of Biscay, that is the closest great white shark sighting to Great Britain. So 177 nautical miles, I think something like that. And here on the Isle of Man, last summer, a taupe shark was tagged here. Three months later, it, it pinged up in, you've guessed it, the Bay of Biscay. So there's absolutely no reason why the Great Whites don't come here as well. It's not far in the grand scheme of things. You might think that's a bit odd as I'm just about to jump in the water, but love the adventure of getting in the water. This bay in particular right now, I've mentioned it before, we've had some decent orca activity down here. So it should be good. Like I say, conditions aren't great, but I think they'll be better on the other side. So I'll nip in now for a dip and then get out and head over to Port Aaron. Dudes, those conditions were a little spicy. It is quite sketchy down the sound, south of the island sometimes. But uh, yeah, as you can see, definitely worse than when I got in. So we'll head over to Port Aaron Bay now, where it should be a bit more sheltered. Even the seals have gone back to the rocks, you know what I mean? It's not for them. It's not for me. Let's go. In other news, there's some uh, exciting possibilities coming my way. Uh, been semi offered to go on a documentary which is either going to be on Apple TV or Amazon Prime. Can't say too much about it at the moment because obviously it's in its infancy, but it is shark related and it is Britain related. So it could be quite cool. Um, fingers crossed for that. Obviously I'll update you as, as and when. Check the webcam for Port Aaron Bay and it looks really good. Uh, it looks a lot better than out there by the sound. I think the wind direction just picked up and changed and affected the sea state somewhat. So hopefully there's more to see in there. Obviously I've seen plenty of seals from the drone, a couple when I was in the water, but nothing exciting. Catch you back up in Port Aaron Bay guys. Welcome to Port Aaron Bay everybody. This is much more the conditions I was hoping for nice and glassy bit breezy but under the water should be fine I have approximately 30 minutes if that of sunlight left this is normally an absolutely cracking place for sunsets 
There's been plenty of dolphin action down here the last few nights as well, so always hoping for that. Never guaranteed, obviously, wildlife. But yeah, we'll get in with what light we've got left, have a little explore and see what's in here. Let's do it. guys another free dive in the books i have to say not much to see in there today it still is early spring sea temperatures aren't quite there yet jellyfish season's not there yet either but i'm very excited to come back here when it gets warmer to an epic sunset this place is known for it it's a basking shark hotspot and normally there's loads going on down here so i look forward to coming back here in the summer uh, for anyone wondering apple watch ultra it's got a dive computer built in, absolutely toffee, no use for free diving because every time you go down and come back up, it resets the dive computer. So I know for a fact I was nine meters down on one of them areas because that's roughly where I've been before. And uh, this just reset it after, after I come back to the surface. So yeah, no use at this time unless an app gets created or something. Absolutely bonkers really considering how much they cost. The lights are on, it's time for me to go. I'll keep you guys updated on any shark related stuff, boat adventures, sea adventures as we go. I've got a wild camp coming up with an SAS one man shelter. Well, there we go guys. Thanks very much for uh, joining me. And uh, if you do like this sort of content, like and subscribe. And for any locals from the Isle of Man, please don't go free diving down the sound or down the calf. I do it quite a lot, but it is, quite technical and there's it really is some strong currents down there so start somewhere like here first off the jetty and work your way from there all right guys take it easy see you later